we have been spending the day uh, taking down some logs, some trees, and I uh, got some maples and some ashes, and uh, we are going and uh, putting the butt logs up on and getting them on the sawmill. So I thought you guys would be interested in uh, watching uh, me cut up some logs into some lumber. So uh, without ado, let's uh, get after that and I'll show you guys my Woodmiser LT40 hydraulic mill. Uh, I bought this mill, it's a 2003 model. I bought this mill about three years ago from a farmer right on the Illinois-Iowa border and I uh, got a really sweet deal on it. It wasn't running. Uh, they were having mechanical issues with it and it uh, turns out that a uh, family of mice had moved into the motor, ate all the wiring and uh, did some other damage to the wiring in the frame. So I took it all apart, rewired it all, uh, got it running good, rebuilt the carburetor on it because uh, they were literally living down inside the motor. So I had to take it all apart and uh, get all their nests and all their nastiness and the insulation and everything else they had dragged down inside there. So, uh, but now it's running great and uh, we're gonna go ahead and demo it to you and make some, this particular log is a maple log and I'm cutting up uh, not only boards for woodworking but also uh, some larger timbers for some timber frame project that I've got coming up uh, that you guys will see in the future. So I gotta, gotta get all the logs uh, cut into timber so that we have enough to build the project we have in mind. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get things started and uh, we'll bring you back in a second.
basically what we did is we took that entire log and we removed all the good lumber all the way around and uh, left this uh, timber, which is an 8x8 eight center. It's uh, about 4 inches shy and 16 feet long. That's how long that log was. I only need 12 foot of this. I'm going to need uh, six 12 footers for posts for the uh, start of a timber frame that I'm going to build here on the property here for another shop. And uh, uh, this is going to work perfect for it. If you can see down at the end here, we've got a pretty good, this is where the crotch was, and we got a pretty good parking. But I'm only going to need this timber to about right here. So uh, at any rate, let me take you over and uh, show you what our uh, efforts were for a couple hours of sawing. All right, guys. So uh, this is basically uh, the fruit of our uh, two hours worth of labor here, uh, not including all the cutting of the logs and everything, just the sawing. Uh, that uh, the top section that you're seeing uh, sitting up on top of the saw horses, that is 26 inch wide, uh, roughly about nine feet long, and that is some super, super, super nice. Uh, uh, it's all it's all maple, but that stuff is heavily spalted maple, and it's in really, really, really good shape. Uh, at the right side, there's some crotch flame to it and stuff like that. When I get it stacked inside the shop, I'll take some photos of this, and I'll make sure that I post them uh, uh, on the video. But uh, really, really nice stuff. Uh, the upper pieces are a little bit thinner. Uh, they're in the range of about 20 inches, but the bottom ones are double wide and uh, really, really nice stuff. And then the bottom ones that you're looking at, that's all, uh, except for two boards, which are six quarter, that's all eight quarter, 16 foot long, uh, uh, nice white maple, and there's a lot of curl, a lot of figure in it. So uh, I'm guessing we got somewhere, I'm gonna have to put a you know, pencil to it, but we got somewhere in the neighborhoods of about four to 500 board feet of really nice, super quality lumber. Most of it is very, very uh, clear with a lot of figure in it, there's curl all the way around in most of the uh, the uh, eight quarter board. So we really, really, really got some nice stuff here. Obviously it's got to get dried, uh, but uh, when it's uh, ready to be worked, it's going to yield some really nice furniture. So I uh, just thought I'd uh, share the uh, sawmill experience with you, and we're going to go ahead and uh, probably do a few more because I've got all kinds of logs that need cut up. So here's uh, just a small sampling of the size of uh, stuff. There's a big spalted maple up on top that's uh, about 34 inches wide at the, at the big end, and it's got crotches down at the other end. So we'll clean it up, see what we get out of that, but uh, we're definitely going to get some good timbers out of there, and I'm going to get a lot of braces out of the smaller boards, which is going to be four by six material, six feet long for the uh, braces for the, new, uh, for the new building. So just wanted to share that with you. There's Tony in action rolling a log. Besides, he doesn't need the canned hook. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're definitely making the video. <laughs>